Hello everyone, you're welcome to this important topic as far as the shipping industry is concerned. Major shipping trade routes and waterways in the world. Now, let's start sailing. Maritime transportation is a commercial activity requiring an extensive array of modes and infrastructures and is shaped by the maritime geography of the world. Mainly the configuration of oceans, seas, rivers, coasts and lakes. There are natural and man-made water passageways that benefit international trade by providing speedy sailing times and an easier cost-effective way to transport goods. These nine routes give a glimpse into some of the busiest and most popular shipping lanes for ocean cargo vessels. 1. The English Channel Renowned as the busiest shipping lane in the world, the English Channel separates England from France and connects the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. The channel is 350 miles long, 20 to 150 miles wide, and 150 to 400 feet deep. Approximately 500 ships travel the channel daily, making it a vital route in the European shipping network. Located at the narrowest part of the English Channel is the Strait of Dover, which connects the Baltic and the North Sea. More than 400 vessels use the giant district daily carrying products like grain, minerals, steel, and oil. 2. Strait of Malacca The Malacca Strait is a narrow 550 miles and is the shortest route between the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It links major Asian economies such as India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, China, Japan, Taiwan, and South Korea. The Strait of Malacca is the world's second busiest waterway, with more than 83,000 vessels traveling this route every year. Number three, Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is an artificial passageway designed to reduce transit times between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. It is about 50 miles long and takes roughly 10 hours to travel. Completed in August 1914, ships traveling between the east and west coast of the US which otherwise will have to go around Cape Horn in South America, shortened their voyage by about 8,000 nautical miles, between 15,000 kilometers, by using the canal. Canal locks at each end lift ships up to Gatton Lake, 26 meters above sea level, and then lower the ships at the other end. The original locks are 32.5 meters wide. A third and wider lane of locks completed in May 2016 began commercial operation a month later. The new locks allow transit of larger ships called New Panamax. More than 14,000 ships navigate the Panama Canal each year. Number 4. Suez Canal. On November 17, 1869, the 120-mile not manually constructed Suez Canal opened, creating the shortest maritime road between the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Without this road, Vessels will have to travel around Africa's Cape of Good Hope, transit times typically lasting 24 days, compared to the canal 16 hours. Today, it is considered one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes, with more than 100 vessels traversing it daily. Number 5. Bosphorus Strait The Turkish Strait of Bosphorus links the Black Sea to the Marmara Sea, ultimately connecting to the Atlantic Ocean. It forms a boundary between Europe and Asia and is internationally significant for oil, commercial and military trade. The strait is 19 miles long, 120 to 408 feet deep and has a maximum width of 2.3 miles. More than 48,000 vessels navigate the Bosphorus each year, about 132 per day. Number 6. Strait of Hormuz. The Strait of Hormuz connects the Gulf of Oman with the Persian Gulf. It connects, it consists of two lanes that accommodate inbound and outbound traffic, and a two mile buffer zone separates them. Hormuz is a critical lane for oil transportation. The Strait is also important for the supply of liquefied natural gas, LNG. So, the Danish Straits. The Danish Straits are a system of three channels, the Orson, the Great Belt, and the Little Belt, that interlink the North Sea and the Baltic Sea. 
The great belt is the widest channel and is the primary passage for large vessels. The Danish Straits are crucial for transporting oil between Russia and Europe. Number 8. St. Lawrence Seaway The St. Lawrence Seaway is the most important shipping lane in North America. The St. Lawrence Seaway connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Great Lakes. Together, the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence River form the longest deep draft navigation system in the world. It extends 2,300 miles into North America and directly serves Ontario, Quebec, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, New York, and Pennsylvania. Each year, more than 3,500 pounds of raw materials, agricultural commodities, and manufactured products travel this route. The volume of product flowing through makes it a crucial network for commerce between the U.S., Canada and more than 59 overseas markets. Number 9. South China Sea the, the South China Sea is a major trade route which accounted for more than 70% of total crude oil shipments in 2016. The three crude oil imports us with the largest volumes passing through the South China Sea, China, Japan and South Korea collectively accounted for 80% of total crude oil volumes transiting the sea in 2016. The South China Sea is a region of tremendous economic and geostrategic importance. One third of the world's maritime shipping passes through it, carrying over $3 trillion in trade each year. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot from this presentation. Thank you.